In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of the Scorched Earth exclusive creatures, all the new ones, all the old ones, and how to spawn all of them in. So first off, we have the Mantis. This one has got like a bit of a new running animation where it kind of like tilts forwards more, as well as it has a new swipe with like its hand. It looks pretty cool. It's got like an actual animation on it. So the commands for this video on top, I'm going to have the saddle command. So if it has a saddle, I'll have that one on top. It's the GFI one that will spawn the saddle. And then on the bottom is the SDF command, which spawns the creature. You make sure you have that one at the end or else it's not going to spawn the creature. The like second number is the level. I have 150 as an example because it's the max level. You can put whatever you want. And then the first number spawns it in Force Tamed, and if you put a 1, it does Force Tamed, and if you put 0, it spawns it in Wild. So that's how the commands are going to work for this video, and that's the one for the Mantis. Next we have the Phoenix. It has the new ability to land, which is actually pretty cool. I'm glad they added that. But also, you might be wondering, as you might have saw in the trailer, the Blue Phoenix. There's no difference, like it's not a different creature, it's just it spawns in, possibly as a blue variant. When you spawn it in, it will either spawn in orange or blue, so if you want the blue variant, just keep spawning it in and you'll eventually get it. But if you're wanting to spawn it in, this is the spawn code right here. And like I said, if you want that blue variant, you're going to just have to keep spawning it in until you eventually get the blue version of it, which I think is pretty common. I got it my first try, so... I also messed around with the color regions and got this really cool purple one by making all the color regions black. I was trying to test to see if fire is a color region, and it's not for some reason, unless I got something wrong. Anyway, after moving on from that, we have the Rock Elemental. The Rock Elemental is pretty cool. Obviously, it looks great in Arc Ascended, and it has glowing eyes now, so that's kind of a nice judge. Makes it look a lot more menacing and creepy. But the spawn command for that one is going to be just Golem. For the saddle and the spawn command, you just type Golem, and it will spawn it in. Or if you want the saddle, you just put Golem as well. Next, we have the Morella Tops, which I think the running animation is messed up, because as you can see, it looks really weird here. And I tried spawning in multiple Morella Tops and I didn't fix it, so yeah, I was just going to have to deal with that. But the spawn command for this one is Camel, so you're going to put Camel in the SDF part. And same for the GFI, except for in the GFI one, you need to put Camel S in order to spawn the saddle. If you don't put S, it's not going to spawn the saddle, it's just going to spawn a paint. Next, we have the Jerbo, which is finally an Arc Ascended. Glad to see this thing back. And it's pretty cool looking, and it looks great in Arc Ascended. The spawn command is very simple, just Jerboa for that one, and you'll spawn it in. So then we have the jug bugs. There's two different types of jug bugs, the water and the oil one. Each one will give you that respective resource, water or oil, and the spawn commands are pretty simple. Just depending on which one you want, you put water for the water jug bug and oil for the oil jug bug. Next we have the thorny dragon. This one looks absolutely amazing as well. I'm going to be doing a video comparing these creatures, so if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Also, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like as well. But yeah, the eye is no longer all messed up. Which I noticed the eye before is like a polygon and stuff is really weird, but uh, the spawn command for this one is going to be spiny lizard. If you just do spiny, it should work as well, but spiny lizard is the full command, and the GFI for the saddle is just spiny if you want to do that one. Next we have the vulture, the other shoulder pet. This one, of course, is pretty useful. Not as useful as the jerboa, but uh, it's pretty cool. The spawn command is very simple. It's just vulture, and that's all you need to put, and it will spawn in. Next we have the Lymantria, or the moth. This one is a pretty cool one and looks pretty dope in Arc Ascended. And the spawn command is just going to be Moth. Same for the saddle, you just put Moth and it will spawn it in. Next we have the Wyverns. These are my favorite creatures in the game. There's three different variants of them. I'm going to show you how to spawn all the different variants. As well as their just animations for the breath attacks look absolutely amazing now. So yeah, let's get into it. First off is the Fire Wyvern. This one is just SDF Fire. And that's all you're going to need to do for that one. And of course, the, the wyverns don't have saddles, so you don't need to spawn in saddles for them either. Next, we have the poison wyvern. This one is pretty cool. Probably the least useful of the breath attacks, but probably the coolest looking wyvern out of all of them. It definitely looks really dope. But the spawn command is just going to be SDF poison for this one. You just put the elements basically for all the wyverns, so that's all you need to do for the poison one. And then next, we have the lightning wyvern. I think this one has the most noticeable difference in Arc Ascended just looks a lot different and the lightning looks completely different as well. The spawn command is just going to be SDF lightning for the lightning wyvern. Next we have the death worms which look really cool in the new dune areas. They just are absolutely phenomenal and here's the spawn command it is just SDF worm. I think death worm would also work but uh, just worm should spawn it in perfectly fine even though when you spawn it in it won't be tamed. You might have to type in force tame if you want to tame it even though you can't ride it or anything. Next we have the Manticore, which is the only boss on Scorched Earth. This one is pretty easy to spawn in, just SDF Manticore 1, 151. 
And of course, this one might not spawn in Force Tame, it'll just spawn in Wild, so you have to look at it and type Force Tame, but you can ride it around and stuff, so it's pretty fun. Next, we have the Oasis Oasisaur, which is part of the new Bob Tall Tales pack. You're going to need to buy that if you want to spawn this guy in, I believe. And it's around 30 bucks, so you're going to need to buy that DLC if you want to get this guy. But the spawn command is SDF's Oasis Oasisaur. It's just the name of it, Oasis Oasisaur, and that'll spawn it in. It doesn't need a saddle or anything, you can just ride it automatically. Next, we have the Fossil Osucha. This, this guy's really cool. You can swim around in the sands and like go and like sink people in the sands too which is pretty cool overall this guy's a really good one he's got some really cool animations as well like venom dripping out of his mouth as you can see right there but the spawn command is going to be sdf fossilo so you just need to put fossil you don't have to put the whole fossilo suches fossilo works i think that's just the entire like code for his command so that's all you're going to need to know but that is all the exclusive creatures for arc scorched earth on arc ascended i hope you guys did enjoy this video find it helpful make sure to leave a like and also subscribe thanks for watching and bye